Hey guys, it's B to BHP again. This time we're going to be learning about some variables. Okay, so what we want to do is open up Roblox Studio. Too happy. Thought I had it open, but I didn't. Sorry. Okay. Most of the games on the front page suck. I'm teaching you a better script so that actually good games can get on the front page for once. Okay, so what we're gonna do is open up a new page. New game. Passing the little button I just pressed. Okay. Okay, so you have a new place. It's totally empty. Which is just what we want because we don't want. We're all, all I'm trying to do is teach you here. Okay. But object. Press the script button. Press okay. Okay. So what? Uh, in the last tutorial, the intro, I showed you what this does. Well, a little bit. It goes and prints it in the output. But see, we can do all kinds of stuff with this. We can do math problems, like I showed you. We can pro Let's. I'm pretty sure you can even do algebra. Okay. So let's do. Okay, well, first we're going to learn what a variable is. A. Or any number or word. Or letter. Well, not number. We can't do numbers. Because we can't make 11 equals 5. Because 11 doesn't equal 5. And then it will bring up all kinds of mathematical errors. So what we want to do is either pick a letter or a word. That could be our variable. So what we're going to do is let's do epic. Epic, that's our variable, okay? We just write the word out. Well, you can also do letters and everything, just like algebra. Epic equals, we can make it equal another word. We can make it equal a brick in the workspace. We can make it equal numbers. We can make it equal almost anything. What we're going to make it now equal is the words. I Roblox ends. I Roblox ends. Okay, and we're gonna make it print the word epic. See, with as I in the last video, I showed that you need quotations around words, but if it's a variable, you do not want quotations. So we're gonna X out. Go to your output and click the play button. I will block scenes. Okay. So let's go back to the script. Say we wanted to make. To, say we had an out, or say we wanted to make it a number, five. We can make it epic plus twenty-two forty-two three four. Okay. So now let's make it. Oh, we have to remind it. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. We always need to remind it. Because so if you don't remind it, you have to do everything over. Just like this. Epic equals... We'll make it equal 1, 3, 3, 7. Epic. We'll make it actually do times 2. So we'll know what epic times 2 equals. If anybody wonders what t epic times 2 equals, let's find out in just a second. Epic times 2 equals 2, 3, 6... Two six seven four. That should be right. I don't feel like figuring it out in my head, but sounds right. Okay, so we rewinded it. We go back into the script. Now, say we wanted an algebra problem. Well, we can make it equal to. Say we had an algebra problem. Let's make another variable. Problem. Problem equals. Epic. Well, let's do five ep five times epic equals x. Now we'll do one second. 
my script might messed up sometimes Ooh. Roblox does that. Okay. Well, no, we're, we're just gonna do x equals f five epic, five times epic. So I was gonna set it up differently, but I decided not to. It'll be easier for you to do this. Okay, so the variable x equals five epics, and x will make the put the variable x. Okay. See. Ten. Okay. So that's one way we can use variables is in math problems. Now, say we had some very complex setup, and there was a brick that you were inside this model and had like a ton of different things, and the brick just happened to be script dot parent dot parent. Dot, 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 dot. A lot of more parents. Okay. Well, the, you don't know what those mean yet. I'll explain in the next tutorial. Okay. But just say, like, you had, like, five parents. You wouldn't want to type that out every time. So you would set a variable as in brick, whatever you want to name the variable, brick equals. Then you type out that once. And so then you could go back into the script, and every time you want to, do, to refer to it, you can go, you could just go brick dot transparency or whatever you want to change and it'd be a lot easier so what else can we do there say you wanted a variable but we wanted it to be more than one script you want to use a value it's si very similar to um it's very similar to um well to um one but it's not but it's an object in here okay so intelligent value that's what int value stands for I'm pretty sure you can rename the value so it's in the workspace blah 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 I was here okay but see the int value can be letters and numbers okay Let's see. Let's see. there's also pool values which are like a, it's a checkbox brick color value is what it means color value c frame value as I'll explain for C-Frame later, but the main thing in C-Frame is it can turn bricks and it can move bricks. Color 3 value, just another color one. There's number value, a number, object value. I never really use it that much. It's not that useful. I like int values and string values better. So if we go to insert, there's a string object here. String, string, string. string. There it is, string value. String values just words, no numbers. I like intelligent values the best because it could be anything you want pretty much. I use them for almost everything in my games. Okay. You can access those the same, you just change the variable those are just like variables, but not quite. So that's all for this tutorial, so